Hey everyone, this is Michael Fair from FilmFestivalCircuit.com and the director of the Oregon Screams Horror Film Festival Summer 2022. And the Summer 2022 event just took place yesterday at the Clinton Street Theater um, in Portland. And we just had a great time at the event. And I just want to say this film was a treat for everybody. Last Orders uh, by director John James Smith finished as a finalist for the Best International Film Award. How are you doing today, John? I'm good. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Good stuff. Well, uh, the festival is cool. A lot of horror fans, dedicated horror fans, um, really, really enjoyed the film, got some great feedback. For those that could not make it, could you give us a little synopsis of what this film is about? So uh, it's basically um, a pub landlord with a dark past gets a mysterious visit one night. Uh, and that's kind of all I can say without giving too much away it's a really awkward film to write a synopsis for or to do a trailer for um sure well sometimes you know it's you just want to give people I, you know i tell people about this funny you bring that up with trailers i get a lot of filmmakers that i'll be like hey do you have a trailer and they're like uh no i didn't want to give the whole story away sometimes a couple of stills and a couple of just you know clips of someone looking left someone looking right someone freaked out um usually does the trick for a trailer i think most people uh, especially those that have no idea what's going on. They're just walking in to see a horror film program. Just kind of want to see a preview of what we're going to see, you know, any, just to kind of get a picture of quality. You know, I, I tell the story at my horror film festival. Um, I, I had a lady one time in um, the very first Oregon Screams horror film festival we did. It was either in 2017 or 2018. And uh, I'd sold these tickets at this full room and we sold the tickets on Groupon and it was super cheap. It was like eight bucks or something. So I had all these people come out of the woodwork and this lady up front, she's like, hey, you the director? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, are these are these movies scary? And I'm like, yeah, they're pretty good. She's like, if they're not scary, I want my money back, right? And so short in the story, it ended up she got freaked out and left the theater. Like she was the first one to leave. But the moral of the story is, is people just want to check out the quality. And quality is definitely what you brought to the table uh, with your film, uh, the production value, the cinematography, the way you unfolded the story. Um, really, really good stuff, man. And a lot of respect from the Oregon judges uh, on your work and definitely resonated with the crowd. What motivated you to create this specific film? Um, well, thank you for your, your kind words. And it's great to hear that it uh, screened well with the crowd. Um, so yeah, basically it, it just came from the pandemic um we've just been stuck inside for so long and just desperate to make something and um i'd kind of had this amazing location sat right under my nose the whole time um because the film for people who don't know is set in a pub in london um and my girlfriend actually ran the pub at the time um but because i was so familiar with it it just never occurred to me to make a film there until someone was just like why don't you just set a film there it's a great location um and also it was just a really unique opportunity because in the pandemic it's the only time where the pub is completely shut for several weeks even at christmas it doesn't really shut and so it was kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity to just make a film there um and we just had completely free roam so i was able to um, set dress and pre-light and shoot tests and just do loads of stuff for weeks and weeks before we actually made the film um and yeah it just I guess came from frustration and just desperately wanting to make something and that's how we got um our amazing actors Alistair Parker and Stephen Elder um you know they were sort of like everyone they've been sat around and just desperately wanted to kind of do something and be creative so we just kind of found the small team and and just kind of made it but there, there was no more intentions than that other than to just have fun and do something creative and yeah just do something different you know, I encourage filmmakers to do exactly what you did. Sometimes, you know, you can say, oh, I could shoot this particular idea if I had this much money. But sometimes you just have to look at what you do have and build a story around it. And I actually didn't know that about your story. I didn't know that that's how you it sounds like it was almost therapy out of the, out of the pandemic, like a redirection of creative energies um, out of the pandemic. And uh, those are very, very uncertain times, especially those first few months. Um, did you kind of how is a chicken and egg thing like this is the script first or were you kind of just like in the pub like brainstorming like this is what we can do like how did the whole you know without giving away the story but did the did the, the location 
write the story or did you write the the, the location into the story? Like how did it work? Um, so usually I don't write for specific locations. I'll start just with the story. Sure. But with this, because we didn't really have a budget, like it was, it's a very small budget that we made last orders on. So it was really just what have we got? What have we got access to? Um, especially because of the pandemic, everything was so limited. Um, so I'd actually written another script that I was going to make. And it, mm. like, like a friend kind of read it and was just like, oh, I just I think you can do better. And then another friend was like, just set something in the pub. So it, was, it kind of came from that. But I think one of the things I learned from this is how much I enjoy restrictions. Because having that restriction changed everything. Mm. Whereas it's such a big task when you don't really have any kind of brief. Like you just don't know where to begin. Um, so sort of having the confines of the pub and you know it is a contained film it all takes place in the pub like it, it really helped creativity um and yeah i, I think it's sort of uh yeah is we were kind of bound by the circumstances uh, i guess so it was it was very much tailored for what we could do at the time did you learn something anything from this production of this film anything that you'll take on to the next one to say we'll do this better or maybe we didn't know we were capable of something like it, it, what, what did you learn from this whole production um i think i learned how much i like working with people because the thing about last orders it was such a small crew and it was quite a small budget we made it for about two and a half thousand pounds so about three and a half thousand yeah. dollars um and i could only afford to hire a couple of crew members for two of the four days that we were shooting um, so for two of the days, it was just me and the actor, and we were just shooting without sound. So we had to sort of foley um, everything else. Um, but we sort of, uh, I, I took on so much with this film. Like I sort of, I shot it, I edited it. I had to learn visual effects to complete a few shots. I did a bit of the sound design. And any kind of bit of dictator that was left in me at that point is now just completely gone. Like I'm so desperate to just work with bigger and bigger teams. Um, so that the last film I've done, I only wrote and directed it and we had quite a big crew. Um, so I, I think it's just made me appreciate other people a lot more just because I didn't <laughs> really have too many people for Last Orders. That's a lot of hats to wear, um, you know, especially a lot in post uh, that you that you worked on with this film. It's a lot of skills to have, um, some which I'm sure were sharpened during this process. But how did you start? What was your first step into the business? Um, so I went to quite a good film school um, just over a decade ago um, in the UK. Uh, so I, I've kind of been working in the industry for over 10 years now. Um, I started in the camera department um, and sort of just from necessity, I've learned to edit and do a few other things. Um, and then uh, alongside everything else I'm kind of doing, I'm always kind of making, writing and directing short films on the side. Um, and then one of the things that came out of the pandemic is that I started working in practical special effects, just because like a lot of people, I just sort of wanted to change. Um, and so I kind of like to get quite busy in the industry and especially as a director, just to sort of stick my nose in other departments and just learn new skills wherever I can. Um, so kind of an all, all rounder really. Um, but yeah, sort of root, roots in cinematography. Okay. You uh, you mentioned another some other productions, um, you know, just in your earlier statements. What do you have going on in the future? So I actually just got back from LA. We um, made a, a much bigger budget proof of concept short. Um, it's called Babushka, um, and uh, yeah, it was great. It was such a contrast to Last Orders because we just sort of had this huge crew and much bigger budget, and it's sort of um, I mean, basically we're trying to start the next horror verse. Um, I'm a huge fan of the sort of Blumhouse insidious conjuring sort of horror verses. Um, and yeah, we, we've just decided we're going to try and start the next one. So we sort of, uh, it was a weird one because I, I sort of went out with quite a small budget and then lots of people were just sort of coming to us and everything was sort of the stars were aligning and it just mm. kind of grew and grew and we just sort of said yes to everything and suddenly it just became this huge production. So we're basically in, in post-production on that now um, and we're going to be pitching it to studios um sort of yeah as soon as it's done really i'm sorry did you say it was a short or a feature link sorry you yeah it's about half an hour long at the okay. moment so yeah just a proof of concept um and yeah we're hoping to get someone interested in in doing the feature all right well i hope you get some traction on it and if you do go into production you got to let us know you got to 
you got to hit me back and we'll talk about uh, yeah, definitely. You know, just your whole process and do another interview, a little follow up. We love to see what happens to the uh, alums of Oregon Screams Horror Film Festival who go on to do big things, which I'm sure you will. So thank you. All right, my friend. Well, it's been great to talk to you. Is there anything you wanted to add before we leave? Uh, no, just thanks to you and thanks to Oregon Screams. And uh, yeah, thanks to everybody that went to the festival. I'm sorry I couldn't be there, but uh, it sounds like it was a great event. And uh, yeah, cheers. All right, my friend. Thank you very much. Take it easy. Cheers. Bye.